as you work with the hard surface brushes, some of the planar and trim brushes, working on an object like I'm working on this robot, you may end up making a mistake or a change that you want to kind of fix. And basically what I want to show you in this video is how you can use the planar flatten brush and the clay tubes brush to kind of fix a hole. Now I'm pretty happy with what I've been working on as far as this robot is concerned, but earlier when I was working on the hips, I made a slight mistake. I kind of changed directions quickly. So let's take a look at what I did here. You can see that I kind of made this hole and I was going to do something different and then decided that I didn't want to have this hole anymore and I just kind of covered it up. Now even though it's covered up, I want to patch that up. So I want to show you a really great way to patch up holes like this when working with planar type surfaces. And what I like about this technique the most is that it really resembles kind of what you might do in real life, which is filling a hole with putty and then using kind of a spatula to kind of just smooth over that putty. And that's what we're going to do with the clay tubes brush and the planar flatten brush. So the first thing we want to do is fill this hole. So I'm going to hit the letter B to bring up my brush palette and then hit C for clay and then T for tubes. And the clay tubes brush is an amazing brush for kind of patching up different surfaces. Uh, it really doesn't matter what your geometry and topology is. The clay tube brush does a great job at kind of filling this in. Now you could just use the planar flatten, which I'm going to use in a second, to try and flatten this whole area out. And in most cases, when you're working with a plane like this, you can just use the planar flatten. But this is a very deep hole, so this is why I'm going to use the clay tubes. So just kind of, again, like I said, in a real world situation, fill this with putty. So we're going to just fill this up. And again, if the topology is great, then the planar flatten is going to work uh, and it's going to make a simple fix. But if your topology is kind of irregular, then using the clay tubes like this is going to help you kind of flatten everything out. So we're just going to fill this hole with our putty. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mask the outside to protect that. So I'm going to go back to my standard brush. I'll hold the control key. I'm just going to protect the outside here. Make sure that I uh, just get the rim here. Because when I'm using that planar flatten, I don't want to disturb my edges here. There we go. Make sure you have some of the original plane because that's how the planar flatten brush is going to work. You can see here that this is the kind of original flat plane that we're going to be working with. You can see my brush cursor moving along that plane. If you only have kind of a lumpy surface like this, it's not going to work the way that you want it to work. So now that we've filled in the hole and we've protected our edges here, let's go ahead again and hit B for the brush palette. We'll hit P for planar, and then I'm going to hit F for flatten. So now we have our planar flatten brush. And all you need to do is make sure that you start on the plane that you want to flatten from. So again, that's this area right here. And we'll just push this across. And you can see how quickly we fix that hole and patch that up. And then I can clear my mask. And then you have a perfectly fixed patch on that plane that we're working with. So again, the clay tubes and the planar flatten will make excellent uh, tools for patching up holes like you saw that I had here. 